Open up for questions for Manchester <coughs> Burmese. Who's the microphone? Probably about 10 were deserved, but uh, the great thing is we had a good mentality. We never stopped, and uh, it was it was it was a matter of finding the first goal. Their goalkeeper, you know, he stood on his head today. You know, he had a lot of great saves, played very well. I, I thought he made a great save on Zussi's free kick. Um, I think that was a big moment in the game. Uh, a few chances we had that he didn't make saves where we kind of played him wide or whatever, but he, he made some good saves to keep their team in the game. But I, I always I just felt that it was inevitable. We were we were we were too good to, to not not win the game and go through. Simple simply put. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a it's a historical moment in that we've never made it this far to for us to take this step to now have a little bit of a break to um, play this weekend and then uh, the FIFA window comes up and we have uh, you know a little break there where we can get uh, we need a couple of days off <coughs> excuse me we need a couple of days off and uh, the great thing is is that the guys have 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 worked really hard and I thought. Um, the way that we prepared up until this point, um, we put a lot of emphasis on making sure that we were able to find a way to get through it these first two legs, um, and we and we've done that. Uh, big moment for the club, but uh, obviously we got a big challenge in front of us with Monterey. Sporting, obviously the more attacking-minded team from first kick. Uh, what did you say to the guys at halftime to keep them focused and keep keep pushing? Or did the, on, the only thing that I the only thing that I said was, was two, I, I said two things to them. I said defensively, we just got to stay disciplined because we didn't want to. We didn't want to get uh, uh, too anxious and now all of a sudden leave ourselves open for them to score a counter. They did it against Toronto. Uh, that was one. But then the other piece was is that everything else offensively was very good other than the last thing was that we wanted to hit some early balls, crossing early balls in behind their defense, which you saw it's, it's the way Rodgers scored actually. The ball that went from Gerso all the way across the goal and then Johnny came in like he was going to shoot and he passed to Roger and he scored. Well, that ball behind their defense, all their guys had to were basically facing their own goal at that moment. You know, a lot of the situations we were getting down the end, down to the goal line, and all their guys, their goal was behind them, and they were facing out. In this moment, they're actually facing their goal, which put them under a lot of stress. And I think that was a difference um, in the second half. And then we got great runs in the box. Uh, so yeah, it was good. But we were, we were. I don't think we were going to be denied today. I really don't think we were going to be denied today. I thought the mentality of the guy was, guys were great. They knew what they had to do, and they, they started from, from opening whistle. To have you guys in a, uh, in a backs against the wall kind of a thing so early on in the year, to see them come out of it, not being able to <coughs> get one across the line for so long in the game, to kind of see them push out for that. How, how big is that to have that now at this point in the year, and how, big, how much does that help you kind of later on as you go to? You know, if, if you watch a Champions League game, Yesterday, between Madrid and or I'm sorry, Barcelona and uh, Lyon, uh, uh, they were uh, they were winning like uh, whatever it was, two to one, two two, whatever, two to one or whatever they were winning, and all of a sudden, um, or they were winning one nil or whatever, and they popped in like three or four goals late in the game. Barcelona did, and I, I feel that we have a you know I'm not I'm not telling you we're Barcelona. What I'm telling you is it's it's kind of the same idea. We the way that we play, the, the kind of pressure we put on the other team, especially in a game like this where the other team sits back so much as much as they did, you're going to be in and around the box and you're going to either stick a lot in or the goalkeeper is going to stand on his head like he did today. Um, but the great thing is is that it's really hard to absorb that kind of pressure for 90-plus minutes and, and not then you know uh, succumb yourself to a goal. We, we deserved it. Um, we deserved probably five more. Uh, I give the goalkeeper a lot of credit, like I said, um, but I also I also appreciate very much the way our guys managed the game today. That there was a big difference in in this game today that we wouldn't have done two, three, four years ago, and that is they they uh, from the opening whistle was obvious, right? They were walking. I mean, they were already tired, is the way they were playing it off. Like ball would go out of bounds, and they were walking 15, 20 yards to go pick up a ball. And to me, I think that is uh, – it bothers me so much about the game because I don't think the game should be played that way, okay? And so – but we're going to face that. And we have to be able to be mature enough to deal with it. And we did a great job 
in managing that. And then, which was great, is how the tables turned. And they wanted the game now to be hurried up. And our guys were very intelligent in, in the way that they managed the game at that moment. And it's, and it's nice. It's nice to be able to uh, turn, the, turn the tables on, on someone that wants to play that way um, and, and, and make them feel it. Because we don't want to play that way ever. But it was nice to be able to just manage the game, but being up, you know, one, two, three, zero. And in the moment, on the field, <clears throat> Well, the reason why you don't you, you don't come on on the good end and all that is because what happens is you start to give up. Guys stop running, stop running in the box, and you got a great play, but then all of a sudden you got enough numbers. And we kept the right mentality. We kept going, right? Because you can still score. You can score at the last minute, and so it was there for us. And it's just mentality. That's really what it comes down to. He just turned his ankle. That's all. He turned his ankle. Is it? Hey. I want to use the white microphone. <coughs> ¿Cuáles son tus pensamientos a, acerca de Monterrey en el siguiente fase? En ese momento yo, no, yo pienso en uh, Colorado, pero para ti yo uh, responde en tu pregunta. Uh, Monterrey es en televisa ayer por la noche um, y de primer partido contra Atlanta es un equipo uh, muy fuerte, uh, muy fuerte. Ellos trabajan muy muy bien en el campo colectivo con un grupo y también individual y este equipo es muy competitivo, buena organización. Uh, tiene jugadores, tiene muchas ganas para chutar de goles. So, seguramente es un uh, equipo muy difícil para nosotros, pero yo creo que nosotros tenemos uh, un equipo sabe cómo juega. Nosotros uh, fuimos en, en, en Toluca. Y es un, un partido muy difícil también para nosotros, pero nosotros tenemos bu buena experiencia en ese momento. So, bueno, es un, es un dos partidos muy, muy, muy difícil, pero nosotros tenemos un buen equipo también. Sí. ¿Tienes preguntas? Sí. Mix zones Thank open, you. gang. <laughs>